Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on finding the volume of prisms. So today, you will find volume of prisms, and here's what I want you thinking about as we proceed through the lesson. How is volume different than surface area? So if you've been watching along in this playlist of videos, the previous video was on finding surface area of solids. Today, we're gonna to talk about finding the volume of solids. And the best thing you can do for yourself is to think about volume and surface area and what do, are the, how are they different. So let's start with the formula. So the volume of a prism is equal to the area of its base multiplied by the height. So when you think about a prism, you're gonna have the same formula for any prism that you find the volume of. The thing that differs in prisms is the shape of the base. So this capital B is different than the lowercase b. The uppercase b represents the area of the base. So the base of the prism determines what type of prism it is. So you could have a triangular prism, a square prism, a rectangular prism. You could have an octagonal prism and you need the area of the base and you multiply it by its height. So here we go, here's an example. Here's a rectangular prism. The base is rectangular. Remember the base of a prism is parallel. They have equivalent faces. So the area of this base is the area of a rectangle. So we set it up, identifying that the base here is six times eight and our height is 15, the height of our prism. Remember the height connects the bases. The height is 15 and the area of my base is six times eight. You multiply and you get 720 and our yards cubed. So remember when you're finding volume, unlike surface area, your units of measure are cubic because it's a three dimensional. So let's take the time right now to talk about how surface area and volume are different. So when I'm finding the volume, that's the interior space. So how much water could this hold? How much sand? Maybe it's a box of cereal or a box of rice. But volume is how much, what's the capacity of the interior of the prism? Whereas surface area is the distance, the amount of material to make the box. So the surface area would be the area of all six faces added together and that's the outside, right? What makes the box. So maybe you wanna know how much cardboard you need to make the cereal box. Volume tells you how much cereal the box can hold. All right, your turn. I would like you, I've given you the formula because I always give my students the formula. They do not need to memorize these geometrical formulas for surface area and volume or area of two dimensional figures. They always get a reference sheet. I would like you to pause the video here find the volume of this prism and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So the volume here is that we identify the base and right here, this is gonna be key, we gotta identify that this side right here is four, right? These sides are all four. So my base right here is four by seven and the height of my prism is three. So I plug in what I know for the area of the base, reminding you this uppercase B means the area of the base of the prism times the height of the prism, multiply, and we get 84 cubic meters. Now let's look at a different type of prism. This is a triangular prism and it's actually sitting on its side. So it's a triangular prism because the two bases that are parallel to each other are triangular and they're connected by these sides. And each one of these faces has got a height of 12. The big difference here is when I go to find the area of my base, it's not length times width or base times height because I have a triangle base. So I have to alter my formula a little bit. I identify the base, I identify the height, and here's my formula because the area of this base is a triangle. It's one half the base times the height. So I plug in what I know, the base and height of the triangle are three by five, and the height of my prism is 12. That's the side that connects the two triangular faces. I multiply and do the math, and I get 90. My units are cubic millimeters. Your turn. Please pause, 
and come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So this is the all that I gave you for this formula because that's all that my students see on a reference sheet. You have to know to replace the area of the base with the one half base times height. So again, this triangular face is the base and it's parallel to the other triangular face and the height of this prism is nine. So remember, this is not the height and this is not the height. And the height and base of a triangle need to be perpendicular to each other. So this is the height of the triangular face, not of the prism. The height of the prism connects the two triangular faces. So we replace this uppercase B with one half base times height, which is the formula for finding the area of the triangle. We find the area of the triangular base, putting in the height and base of the triangle, multiplied by the height of the prism. We do the math and we get 270 cubic meters. Now let's talk about a composite solid. So I have a composite solid here, which is made up of a triangular prism and a rectangular prism. If you're asked how much volume could be held in here, it could be air, it could be water, it could be sand, it could be any number of things. Bird seed, it could be a birdhouse, who knows? So we're gonna find the volume of one prism and add the volume of the other prism. And together, when we put the two volumes together, it's the volume of the composite solid. Again, we need to recognize that this right here is a triangular prism, so the area of the base is gonna be the area of a triangle times the height of the prism. And then we have a rectangular prism that is gonna be the area of the base, which is just base times height, multiplied by the height of the prism. So now we go identify the height and base of the triangular face has a height of 12, which is perpendicular to the base of 10. And then the prism, is right here, this connects the two triangular faces, and we know we get this from down here, nine, nine, nine. So the height of this triangular prism is nine. So I have half the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle times the height of the prism. Then I go to the rectangular prism, and I have base and height of the rectangular face 19 times 9, and then the height of the prism is 9. So when you do the math of all of that, you get um, a total of 540 for the triangular prism, 1,881 for the rectangular prism, for a total composite solid volume of 2,421 cubic feet. Your turn. I would like you to find the volume of this composite solid, Come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So again, we're gonna find the volume of one composite solid, one solid, and then the other to get the full composite solid volume. Identifying that the triangular prism has a triangular base and we need one half base times height for our area of our base. And then we have a rectangular prism with a rectangular base. So we have to identify here that our rectangle, our triangle, sorry, our triangular face has a base right here that is equivalent to this, six, six, six. So this is a base of six and a height of four. And then the height of the prism, remember, connects the two triangular faces, so that's six, and there's my height, and then my rectangular, six by 12 for my base with a height of four. Now that I've identified all the parts, I just need to do the math. So half of six times four is 12 times my height of six. Six times 12 is 72 times my height of four, giving me that the triangular prism has a volume of 72 and the rectangular prism has a, a volume of 288. Add them together and I get a composite volume of 360 cubic feet. Now I have a real world problem for you. I have a popcorn box here. And how much popcorn the box holds is volume. And then I have a triangular prism for popcorn. And you are the movie theater owner and you want to determine which popcorn holds the least amount of popcorn so that you can make the most money. So I'm gonna ask you to find the volume of each and determine which container would hold more popcorn. 
Please pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So I'm gonna find this popcorn box first. The volume is base times height, the area of the base, and here's my base, 6.5 by 23.5, multiplied by a height of 32. The height of this rectangular prism box is 32. I do the math and I get that the volume of this is 4,888 cubic centimeters. Now let's find the volume of this triangular prism popcorn box. It has a triangular base and we'll multiply by the height. So the triangular face has a base of 10.5 and it tells us the height is eight. And then the height of the prism connecting the two triangular faces is 41.5. Half of eight is four times 10.5 is 42 times the height gives me a volume of 1,743 cubic centimeters. So when I compare the volumes, the volume of the rectangular box is greater than the volume of the triangular prism. So don't let, let images fool you. You gotta do the math. So the rectangular prism holds more popcorn than the triangular prism. So that's our lesson today on finding the volume of a prism. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you show your work when you're trying to find the volume and use your reference sheet. Use your formula to start you off. Make a plan and then you just need to calculate. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and have a great day.